Yeah, a lot of people ask me, is your name really Chuck? They think, you know, maybe that I just, you know, like my name's Tony, but Tony's barbecue isn't going to work out too good. It's a pinch of a guy place, you know, because it's because it's hearty and, you know, stick your ribby type, you know, food. And uh, basically when I first started, it was like pulling teeth to get people to try a lot of the cool, crazy dishes I was doing. Um, but we've come a long way. And now almost anything I cook, people are just like, let's try it. I have delivery delivered to my house all the time. Like when I'm at the restaurant, I'm so, not so hungry because I'm cooking, and, but as soon as I get home, I'm starving. It's like, and me and my wife will have Chuck's delivered. It's, it's such a treat. Basically when people leave here, we're hoping that they want to tell some friends and you know, maybe bring some of their friends back with them, you know, and uh, maybe try some of the specials and, you know, uh, you know, have a great dining experience. Maybe learn something about some new food that they never heard of, you know. So, Robert, you say that Chuck's is a one-of-a-kind experience. Tell us why you chose it. Well... Chuck's is this unique kind of a place, and by no means would I call it any kind of fusion, but uh, he does New Orleans-style barbecue, which is kind of a real select, kind of an interesting item in its own right. But go, what goes along with that is these really interesting Cajun dishes, which are uh, just likewise very bold, bold flavors. But the real hidden secret about Chuck's is that you will find on a daily basis these really great specials, which much of the time include these very authentic Mexican dishes, not your run-of-the-mill uh, taco stand kind of uh, fast food Mexican dishes, but you'll find really interesting things. Uh, things like cochinita bibil, things like really inter interesting uh, chiles en hogada, and just really these really great and interesting ultra bold flavors. I'm going to put you on the spot. You say some of the Latin dishes are better than your mother-in-law's. <laughs> uh, well, you're going to get me in trouble by saying that, but uh, you're going you're to get me in trouble by saying that, but uh, we'll say but, equal. <laughs> well, I would say close to, and what I might also say is my mother-in-law and father-in-law, my in-laws, love eating there as well. Yeah, actually, I ordered the cochinita pibiru. Correct. And it was very, uh, it was surprising to find it on the menu, and it was on the special menu. Um, I had ordered it, and then maybe 20 minutes later, the, the waitress came back and said, I'm so sorry, we ran out of it. It's like, yeah. oh, no, <laughs> what wow. do you mean? They ran Were out you of familiar it? with the dish? Well, just how it was described just sounded really interesting. Uh, but then she came back and said, you know, I talked to the chef. He can make, like, one small, like, a third portion if, for an appetizer if you want. He's like, okay, great, at least we get to try it. Wow. And apparently, you know, I was able to get to get a full order, which was which was great because I think it's the it's the shredded pork and there's this was it a, a mango mango habanero right. salsa that goes along with it that right. really kind of really is a nice accompaniment. To it, it is the mm -hmm. sweet and savory Works. together. And it really it was a nice combination. Now, mm -hmm. For people that are probably surprised to hear this guy Chuck <laughs> <laughs> doing right. you know these like amazing authentic dishes, he actually spent you know a couple of years working with Rick Bayless. So, you know, there's a culinary background there. Mm -hmm. and, he, and he's not charging Rick Bale's prices either. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. 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 No, I, I will say, I'm going I'm to go negative right off the bat. And I'm going to say, the big negative is that there's not one of these in Wicker Park. That's the only thing I can say. <laughs> okay. But, but for nice. the travel, it was, it was wonderful. Now, I went with three guys, four of us down there for lunch on a weekend. and um, He-Man dinner. Well, yeah, we had like the barbecue nachos, um, uh, we had the chicken wings, uh -huh. we had the etouffee, the etouffee was wonderful, yep, um, that too. and then two of the guys had the pulled pork, and they were like, okay, this is uh, damn good, I think yeah. is what they said, I don't know if that's allowed in What PBS, did you think of the but, wings? Um, oh, wonderful, but I like, I like things, okay, they're spicy, and then there's really spicy, well, I like stuff up in the exosphere. You like Death Con 5. Yeah, yeah right. 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 right, I think it's I took like one of the, like the, the, it, literally, the, the, the sauce was called like hot buns on the beach or something. <laughs> and, I, and I just, I took this thing and I just, and it was so good. It was wonderful. It really was. They're known for the sauce. Yeah. This barbecue sauce, which has won numerous awards. Chuck's barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. What makes this barbecue sauce so good? Well, he has two versions of it that he generally puts on the table. There's his mild and his spicy. Um, for guys like 
<laughs> like that was probably yeah. spicy is not yeah. quite even spicy enough, no, no. but uh, it has a very unique flavor in that it, like almost everything he puts forth, it's very, very bold. It's very distinctive. You, you, sure. I, I've never tasted a barbecue sauce like that before. There mm. were a lot of, again, a lot of layers there that really came through. Right. Now, Robert, the Chuck strikes me as the type of guy that he just loves to cook. You know, what's he like? Yeah, this guy, I mean, one of the things that I really like, if, if you're in that restaurant and he happens to be there at that time, he will go to each and every table, have a brief conversation, and you can tell by talking to this guy for five minutes that this guy is cooking what he loves to eat. Mm -hmm. spinach. spinach, yeah, okay. it's a wild spinach, yeah. Yeah, it's a, a, I, love it. I love that stuff. He's putting flavors out there that may frighten some people <laughs> upon when you read them on paper, but once he says, just go ahead and give it a try, and you walk away blown away because you just really, really enjoy it. So. so let me ask you this question. This is your absolute favorite restaurant. Okay, so if I were to say you can only go there one last time, what would you order? For me to go there one last time, wow. I would uh, have to touch all bases, and I would do probably one of his absolutely wonderful type soups of a Cajun flair. Uh, I would definitely do what he calls his Chicago wings, or if I'm really lucky, he may have his Jamaican jerk wings as an appetizer. I would certainly have the cochinita bibil, and I would close it up with my favorite dessert that he does. He does a wonderful banana sauce. All right, sounds good to me. Well, Robert, you picked Chuck's. Give us a summary. Well, Chuck's has unbelievable New Orleans style barbecue, as well as Cajun and Mexican flavors, all presented with bold flavors, and a super bang for the buck. <laughs> Paul? I'll, I'll co-sponsor his bill, um, no, <laughs> but I also add, okay, this is not Le Cinq in the George V Hotel in Paris, but this is barbecue how it should be done, and it, they, this is consistently, this is exceptionally good barbecue. Natalie? Uh, it's definitely worth a drive. It's great sauce. It's um, a great family-friendly, casual atmosphere, but really great food. Well, you can sample Southern Cooking with a Kick at Chuck's Southern Comforts Cafe, 5557 West 79th Street in Burbank, 708-229-8700. They're open for lunch and dinner Monday through Friday and for breakfast, lunch, and dinner on Saturday and Sunday. Limited reservations are accepted and the average tab per person without drinks is $15.